a mysterious white house situated on the top of an isolated island. The person who lives here must hate humanity. Let's take a look at 15 people who hate the outside world. Elide Island, Iceland. Just off the south coast of Iceland is the extremely remote Vestmanajar archipelago. And on one of the islands known as Elide, there's a mysterious white house in what must be one of the most isolated and private homes in the world. There have long been rumors about who might live there, with suspicions that it could be the retreat of Icelandic singer Björk, or even a hideaway for a billionaire preparing for the worst. But the truth behind the house is that it has its roots in the 18th century. Back then, it used to be a valuable source of fish and puffin, and there used to be a small community that would capture the animals for sale on the mainland. As other work opportunities opened up elsewhere, people began to move away, and by the 1930s, there were only five residents left. Even they were forced to finally accept that they had a more prosperous future away from the island, so reluctantly moved, and by all accounts, the home has remained uninhabited since then. Still, there are questions about the truth of this, because recent photos show it to be in a remarkable condition, which has further fueled speculation that it is, in fact, still being used by someone who hates the outside world so much that they've gone to extreme lengths to conceal their presence. Number 14. Potato Island, Connecticut If you need to be close to a city for work reasons but can't stand the presence of other people, then there's still options available to you. One of the best choices is to live on a small island, and while you may be close to other beachfront homes, you can still live in the utmost privacy. A great example of this is Potato Island in Connecticut, named because the 1.1-acre granite island looks like the vegetable. The home on it was built in 1912 and has 3,871 square feet of floor space. There are four bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, and a recent renovated kitchen along with a perfectly manicured garden. It recently sold for just under $5 million, which seems like a bargain to anyone needing their space and privacy. But with the ability to reach Stony Creek on the mainland in just two minutes by boat from the private jetty, or Manhattan in an hour and 40 minutes, it's the ideal retreat. To add extra mystery around the place, one of the islands in the chain is thought to have been where Captain Kidd buried a treasure chest in the 17th century, and according to local legend, it's yet to be found. If the story is true, it proves that even the pirates believe this to be a secluded location, and one that's isolated from the rest of the world. Number 13. Castle on a Cliff, Plittenberg Bay There are a number of stunning properties along the coastline of South Africa, but one of the most remote and incredible places is the Castle on a Cliff in Plittenberg Bay. It's built on a rocky outcrop that's around seven minutes drive away from the bay itself, as it's within its own private reserve. There's no sign of anyone or anything else once you're inside. The castle has stunning views out across the Indian Ocean from the four suite bedrooms, the dining room, the patios, and the swimming pool, and there's a private stretch of coastline that only residents can access. Amazingly, it's open for rental by groups, and is often hired by people looking to escape the outside world who need peace and quiet. The only distraction you'll ever get is from a local species of rabbit, baboon, or the birds that feed in the area, and it's no wonder that the place is one of the most popular for guests looking to experience the famed garden route along the coast for themselves in complete privacy. Number 12. Red Cottage, Just Room Enough Island There aren't too many places that you can go in New York State to avoid the outside world, but it's certainly possible if you get creative. One of the most secluded properties in the state is known as Red Cottage, and while plenty of people may know about it, most haven't been anywhere near it because it sits on its very own island in the St. Lawrence River. The tiny island called Just Room Enough Island is one of more than 1,800 rock formations in the river and is no larger than a standard-sized tennis court. At just 3,300 square feet, it currently holds the world record for the world's smallest inhabited island since the home was built there by the Cezalene family in the 1950s and they used virtually every piece of available land for the house, the patio, and the tree that they planted next to it. It is the ideal spot for anyone looking to keep their distance from the outside world while still being able to quickly access the mainland when needed, and is probably the best property that offers seclusion in one of the most densely packed areas of the U.S. Number 11. Casa do Penedo Casa do Penedo, which translated from the Portuguese, means House of the Rock, is a house that's in the open countryside between Fof and Cerro Rico de Basto in Portugal. Instead of being built from hundreds of bricks and perfectly shaped rocks, it's instead made up of four large boulders that between them form the foundation, walls, and ceiling of the home. 
It took two years to fully build and was completed in 1974. Despite being close to a wind farm, there's no power in Casa do Penedo. And anyone who stays there has to rely on batteries and living a back-to-basics lifestyle. What the house lacks in terms of modern amenities, it more than makes up for with the stunning views and privacy that it offers. There's no other sign of life for miles around, and it's become known as one of the most secluded structures in the whole of Europe. At first, it was used as a holiday destination by its owners, and then as a permanent residence. But in recent years, it's become a museum dedicated to its history, and is becoming an increasingly popular tourist attraction. As a result, it's been kept in pristine condition, and could quite easily be used as a home again and would be ideal for another family, like the original owners who valued their distance from the outside world. Number 10. The Crystal Mill Built in 1892, the Crystal Mill is a wooden powerhouse that's on a rocky outcrop that reaches out above the Crystal River in Colorado. It is in an absolutely stunning location that's between the towns of Glenwood Springs and Aspen, and has become such a famous structure that it was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1985. It was originally built to produce energy by using the water of the river to rotate a horizontal wheel, and this powered an air compressor in the hut, which in turn was used to run drills in mines in the nearby mountains. Even though this use ended in 1917, the mill remained in use as a getaway from its owners, and is arguably the best place in the world for people wanting to detach themselves. There is no other structure within several miles, and it can only be accessed by using a 4x4, and even then you can only make the drive during the summer or fall. Once the winter months set in, there is no way to get to the Crystal Mill, and it offers unparalleled seclusion and privacy. It's actually proved to be so isolated that no one stays there for too long, and it's become somewhat of a popular tourist attraction, as an end destination for hikers throughout the area. Number 9. Fogo Island Artist Studio Artists are notorious for their need to find peace and tranquility to produce their best works, and this usually involves sealing yourself from the outside world so you can focus on the job at hand. So to cater to this need, a Canadian entrepreneur has built a series of retreats on Fogo Island, a remote outcrop that's off the coast of Newfoundland. It's so far away from civilization that it's not uncommon to see icebergs floating past, and some flat-earth theorists have believed it to be one of four corners of the globe. It's the ideal place for an art residency program, which has not only seen the development of a luxury hotel and a 37-seat movie theater, but also four studios for artists in residence, which offer some of the most incredible and inspirational views in the world. The Bridge Studio, for example, looks over Deep Bay and is popular with writers who sit at their desk and can look out through the full-height window, and the Squish Studio sits on a rocky coastline with the sound of the waves echoing in. All four of the studios are self-sustaining, with all water provided from tanks that collect rainwater and featuring composted toilets, solar-powered electricity, and wood-burning stoves. In fact, the only real connection with the outside world is the Wi-Fi, and this can be turned off with the flick of a switch. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Summer of Sandby. The Sandby Summer House was built deep within one of Sweden's pine forests in 2017 and was designed to be a secluded escape for its owners who want to spend their time without interference from the outside world. Surrounded by the lush forest, it's right next to the coast and a sandy white beach, and as a newly built home, it features all the conveniences you'd expect. Planned as a home for a family, the two-story structure has three bedrooms, a common room, and a bathroom on the top floor, and a master bedroom, a kitchen, and a living room on the ground floor with doors that open up into the forest. The materials used in its construction help it to blend in with the surroundings, and its overall look is inspired by traditional building designs of the country. The best thing for escapists, though, is that the nearest neighborhood is more than five miles away, so residents only have to deal with the outside world on their own terms. Number 7. The Kachki Pillar Religious buildings have for thousands of years provided people with safety and refuge from the things going on in the outside world. But to really devote their lives to their beliefs, some worshippers have gone to extreme lengths to separate themselves from the rest of humanity and get as close to the heavens as possible. There are examples of this from around the world, but the one that stands out the most is the church that sat on top of the Kachki Pillar. The pillar itself is a 130-foot-tall natural limestone monolith that's in the country of Georgia, and investigations have found that it was used as a site for a hermitage since at least the 9th century. 
There are no steps to reach the top, and it was only in the 1950s that researchers first climbed to the summit, and they were stunned by what they found. Not only is there a main church building, but there's also a crypt, three hermit cells, a wine cellar, and the ruins of a much older church. It's been the home of a monk from the Orthodox Church, called Maxime Kaftarades, for at least the past 20 years after helping to restore the structure, and he only climbs down twice a week to get supplies. It's undoubtedly one of the most secluded buildings on Earth, and perfect for someone who has no interest in modern life. Number 6. The Lagarngrub Hut Scotland is renowned for its lush countryside and stunning vistas, and is a popular tourist destination for people wanting to escape. Most visitors love to take in the hospitality of the people there, but for those wanting to shun the outside world, there are some perfect places to go to. One of the most isolated is the Lagarngabra Hut, and it was originally built in the 19th century for use as a crofting home, where the owners of the surrounding land would live to watch over their crops and livestock. It's in such a remote place, many miles away from the nearest neighborhoods, that it proved to be almost impossible to turn a profit from the land, so the hut was abandoned, and eventually taken over by the Scottish National Trust and the Scottish Mountaineering Club in 1946, and they maintain it to this day. From the outside, it may not look like much, but after an extensive redevelopment in the 1990s, this is a wonderful place to stay without the prying eyes of everyone else. Amazingly, there are actually 20 beds inside for weary travelers, along with gas cookers and electric heating. But most of the original design elements remain. It still has a traditional Balachulish slate roof, and the walls are made of thick local stone to provide shelter from the pummeling winds that blow through the region. Number 5. Rock House, Serbia Serbia is a beautiful country with some of the most stunning landscapes you'll see anywhere in the world. For residents, it offers countless environments to explore, and you'll never know quite when you'll next find a place of inspiration and escape. That's what happened to two brothers and their friends in the summer of 1968, when they were attempting to swim across a stretch of the Drina River. One of them became tired and swam to a rock formation in the river, and when they took a look around, they realized that this was somewhere special. The group collected pieces of driftwood that were floating down the river and built themselves a rudimentary shelter where they could hide away, and even though this original structure was destroyed by rising tides later that year, the friends returned to build a more sturdy building, which has had to be continuously rebuilt ever since. In fact, the so-called rock house that stands there today is the eighth house to have been built, and was completed in 2011. In recent years, more people have found out about it because of a popular boat race that goes past it, and it's become one of the most photographed houses in the country. Still, with it being located so far in the middle of nowhere, and with the only access possible by swimming across the river, it's still a great place for someone to escape the outside world and find a sense of privacy. Number 4. Casa Malaparte the island of Capri in Italy is on the south side of the Gulf of Naples, which is in such a beautiful place that it's been used as a vacation resort since at least the times of the Romans. It is now one of the most popular tourist destinations in the region, thanks to its cultural heritage and the sunny beaches, and virtually no part of the land has been left untouched by developers wanting to get their own piece of the action. There is, however, one place that offers a surprising amount of privacy and seclusion from the outside world, Casa Malaparte. It was built in the late 1930s by the man who owned the land and a stonemason friend of his and is on the eastern side of the island. The basic structure is made up of a red masonry box that has a pyramidal stairs that leads to the roof terrace, and it sits on a precarious 104-foot tall cliff that looks out over the sea. What's particularly great about the house is how hard it actually is to reach it. There's a choice of approaching it from the sea, which is only possible on calm days and involves climbing a hundred steps that have been carved into the cliff face or by choosing the safer route, which involves a 90-minute walk through uneven terrain, most of which is within the private grounds of the house itself. Number 3. Wordy House, Winter Island If you're looking for the most isolated home in the world, that often means anyone who stays there is cut off from contact for several months at a time, then the answer is undoubtedly the Wordy House. It's on Winter Island, which is off the coast of Graham Land in Antarctica, and was first discovered during an expedition in 1934. It was this team that first set up the structure on the island which they used as the site of their winter base, and then, ten years later, a more permanent structure was built by the British Antarctic Survey, with a main hut that was named Wordy House, after one of the members of the Shackleton's Transantarctic Expedition who visited the site while it was being constructed. The hut contains a kitchen, a living room, an office, a generator room, and a shed, and it used to have three or four residents in it at any one time. Once the winter months begin, it's almost impossible to access or leave the island, 
so if you're staying at the hut at the time, you have no choice but to survive the harsh weather with no outside contact and wait until things calm down again before continuing on with your journey. This means that only a certain type of person has ever been able to successfully stay in the wordy house, namely, those who hate the outside world and prefer living in an inaccessible space without any sign of anyone else for months at a time. Number 2. Gasadolur Village The Faroe Islands are an archipelago that can be found around 200 miles to the north of Scotland and are between Norway and Iceland. A part of the Kingdom of Denmark, this truly is an isolated place, but that hasn't stopped a small community from thriving there. The village called Gasadolur is on Vagar Island and is surrounded on most sides by mountains, but is also next to a beach. This is the only means of access with boats having to moor up on the rocks in calm weather and then using the staircase to reach the village itself. There are other villages on the island, but from Gasaladur they're virtually impossible to reach without a treacherous climb through the mountains, so in search of work most of the residents of the village have left to go elsewhere. In 2004 there were only 16 people living in the village, a number that's now increased slightly to 18, and they all live a back-to-basics lifestyle with very little involvement with the outside world whatsoever. It's so remote that the first road was only built in the last 20 years, and cars have only just been made available on the island. A tunnel has been built to give easier access to other villages, but even this isn't accessible for much of the year due to weather, so it hasn't made much of a difference to how secluded this place truly is. As far as isolated communities go, Gasadolur is up there with the best of them, and this is the ideal place for people who hate the outside world and want to escape modern life. Number 1. The Sky Sphere while most homes for people avoiding the outside world involve living off the land with very few modern amenities on offer, that doesn't have to be the case. If technology is important while still being as far away from anyone else as possible, then the Sky Sphere is the perfect choice. The giant white structure is near the town of Linton in New Zealand and was built in 2016 by a local designer. Lighting is controlled via an app. There's a voice-activated beer dispenser in one of the couches, and it even has a zombie mode that, when activated, completely seals it off from the outside world to protect those inside it. Amazingly, even with features like this, it's completely self-sufficient and powers everything from a series of solar panels on the roof. The man behind the design has, for years, built extravagant treehouses and saw this as the natural extension of his passion. He also built the Sky Sphere to be portable, and it can be uprooted and moved to a new position in just a matter of hours. This doesn't affect its sturdiness, though, which is important considering it's subjected to some of the harshest conditions New Zealand has to offer. It can therefore withstand earthquakes that measure up to magnitude 8.5 and winds of up to 125 miles per hour, meaning no matter what happens inside, you're almost guaranteed to be safe and secure inside. The initial design was somewhat lacking, however, because it didn't have plumbing and therefore couldn't have a bathroom. The plan, though, is to upgrade it so it's possible to live in there full-time, and designs like this could inspire a whole new generation of people who want to live off the grid and detach from the outside world. It was all built with $50,000 worth of materials, which makes it much more affordable than most homes, and with no one else from miles around, it's the perfect retreat. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.